Sometimes what grows up comes crashing down. Trees give us oxygen, shade, and sheer beauty, but our beloved canopies have a downside. The trees hit, the glass was breaking, and you could hear the water flowing into the house, the rainwater. Larry Smith and his wife escaped injury by riding out an EF3 tornado in a hallway. Estimated winds between 136 and 165 miles per hour. I ended up with four trees on my house. Every year, people lose their lives in wind-related tree accidents. Thunderstorms make up about 41% of wind-related tree deaths. Surprisingly, strong winds, including fair weather windy days, are a close second at 35%. Hurricanes, tropical storms, tornadoes, and winter weather are blamed for the remaining 24%. And I noticed this part of the tree in my car. Vehicles are a notoriously bad place to be in stormy weather. Nearly half of wind-related tree deaths happen in vehicles. Of course, just being outside in a storm raises your risk. Like we always say, the safest place to be is in a sturdy building away from doors and windows. Even better, a storm shelter. Strong storms can bring down even healthy trees, but disease, damage, and very old trees often fall first. Reduce your risk by knowing sick tree danger signs. The things that homeowners need to look for first is they can look for signs of decay on the top of the tree. Other things are uh, bark peeling away from the trunk, oozing from the tree, cankers of some sort, or just a lot of insect activity. But if you're not certain or you have any questions, definitely get a professional arborist out there to assess the situation. Worst case scenario, you might have to lose a favorite tree, but that's much better than losing a vehicle, home, or even a loved one. Here goes Christian's 